हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज सचिन प्रसाद एंड आई एम अल्स फोर्स मार्केटिंग क्लाउड टेक्निकल आर्किटेक्ट टूडे इन सेशन विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट हॉट टॉपिक दैट इज द याहू एंड द जी मेल ऑथेंटिकेशन विल बी नॉट डिस्कसिंग वन क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब in this session and we'll only focus on the authentication of the sender email address before discussing this topic i would ask you to come to my blog and read my blog on spf dmark and dmic also you can refer to the mx record for reply mail management i had compiled this blog couple of years back but during that time this was not much for discussion that was going in the net but because of the recent changes by gmail and yahoo everybody is talking about this topic without wasting any much of our time let's directly jump into salesforce marketing cloud and let's discuss the authentication so this is my salesforce marketing cloud instance where i do not have the sap configured as you can see i don't have any sender authentication package configured so what's our next best action which we could do as you see here i have already created one email address which is basically verified If you want to verify your email address, you type the sender email address in the text box, and then you say save. Status is pending. Task is to basically validate this sender email address. I click on the link, and my email address has been verified. and my gmail is also verified so our next step after this verification process complete i'll create a sender profile so i'll go to the sender profile click on create give a name give the extra key and so i'll say sasi and the email address will be bitu.sasi and you'll see this is a verified sender profile so now i can click on save and the sender profile got created now let's perform the send let's click on send and select the sender profile as sasi which is a verified one click next select the data extension and drag the data extension select next send it immediately and click on this checkbox ready for send and click on send fine now let's go to the tracking click on send and here you see it is in progress okay let's refresh this let's see the tracking so it says line delivered fine let's see our gmail and you can see the emails are delivered right but if you see here uh, the sender email address here okay it is getting bounced if you see this i have two verified sender address okay this was verified today the bitus 
that's a cngmail.com was verified today but the other one was verified on february 3rd and when i was trying to do the send through this email address you'll see everything was basically getting bounced let's go to the tracking and you see this the this particular send i performed today with the other email address and i'll show you this everything was basically getting bounced and if i have to show you the email address the email address was the same the b2c plus test 01 test 2 test 3 and all right and if i go back to my email and these are all the same email address test 2 okay now let's move to the other topic i also created one dynamic sender profile so in this dynamic sender profile what i have done is i'm using a sender name and sender email address as the sendable attribute to populate the from name and the from email for the sender profile and this is my verified callback address right now let me show you the data extension that i'm going to use for this dynamic sender profile so let me go to the data extension and under sender authentication you see this is the sender name that is amscriptify and the sender email address is b 2 sasi at gmail.com right which is the verified one now let me go to journey builder let me let me create one multi-step journey and give this as sender authentication file Drag the data extension, select the data extension that I'm going to use for my dynamic profile. That would be sender authentication. Next, I'll schedule it to run once. Drag the email. Select the email address that you want to send. Let me select this one. And from here, let me select the dynamic sender profile. And from here, let me set the subject line. Is this send? Okay. Click on done. Summary done. Now next is the journey setting. I'll say enter anytime. And I'm going to use the email attribute for sending the email. And then I'll click on activate. return to journey and refresh we have eight Records evaluated. Let's refresh this. The contact accepted. It didn't accept it. Now 
it's your inbox so i receive all those emails in my inbox let's see from where it was sent so i am scriptify the from name and again it is giving us bounce so if you are wondering about what it is bounce dot exact target dot com is i'll put it in the description of this blog by al everson and also the link that is provided in this blog written by lucas i'll provide both this description for you to understand the demark fail and pass and to understand what is the multi bounce enablement in marketing cloud so i'll leave you all with this let me know what you think about this dynamic sender profile authentication and your email delivery with respect to email authentication in salesforce marketing cloud see you all in the next video bye guys